Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a base cabinet, uh, 24 inch wide. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to launch Pro 100. And uh, I don't care about uh, new project and all that. So, but I will resize the room. It's too big. Maybe 100 by 80. And now we're going to start with our new element. You can use any elevation. I'm on 3D right now. Set it on the side. You want to make sure it's all the way at the back and it's on the floor. Basically, position 0, 0, 0. You can see that also right here. All right, so I'm going to make sure the dimensions is going to be 34.5. The reason being, the countertop is going to be one and a half thick, so I leave that allowance. Uh, I want this to be 24 deep, and I can lock this one here. Um, and uh, leave it like that for now. Actually, I can lock everything. All right, just put it in the center. And then highlight shape editor select those two sides I want to make a notch I want to bring this notch four inches down so type in four inches wrong side I can do control Z if you go on the wrong side so I'm going to change the direction four inches uh, this side also you just zoom in so you can see it four inches as well And then I can uh, just drag this position here and it will snap on for 90 degrees. Uh, we're not done yet. Uh, remember when you put the back panel, it's going to add another 3 quarters of an inch. And it, once I put the toe cake also, it's going to add uh, 3 quarters of an inch. So I need to take care of that. Uh, the way you do it is I'm going to increase that by... 4.75. By the way, it can take decimals or fractions. And enter. Wrong side. Control Z. I need to change that to this side. So 4.75. And then I will just pull this until it snap onto 90 degrees. Uh, we're not done yet. I also need to take care of this side because of the back panel. So I'm going to decrease that one 23.25 and then pull this side the same technique and we'll snap on so once I put the back pa the back panel and the toe kick I should be fine okay so I'm gonna close and uh, that's the left panel so I'm gonna make a copy for the right panel uh, let's make put the back right there also this is gonna be 34.5 lock it don't worry about the width yet and you make sure all the way to point position zero 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 you can see it right there bring that in and then I will align this to the right There you go. Uh, I want to do the bottom. I can quickly know the dimension of the bottom just by checking that on the shape editor. I know it's 18 and a half. Close that. So let me turn off the light and also the transparency so I can see through. So bring new elements. Okay. Stretch it. Pro 100 has collision detect, so it will stop when you bump into something. And I want this to be 18 and a half deep. And you will see that it's nicely aligned right there. Center that. You can see that. And now I'm going to make the toe kick. So, toe kick, new elements. 
it's going to be 4 inches high don't worry about the width thickness same and I want to lock them by the way lock that so it doesn't resize by itself bring that in and it's going to be because of three quarters of, three quarters of an inch thick and eighteen and a half you can quickly do the math so it's eighteen point five plus three quarters of an inch that's a point seven five so I need to move this toe kick nineteen point two five deep so double click position I'll move the nineteen point two five deep okay and you will see how it's aligned very nicely okay now I'm gonna put the bottom I can copy that and just bring it back up like that and align it with the fronts any fronts here and then stretch this all the way back all right by the way I don't know how you make your cabinets I'm just giving you this to see how you can make a base cabinet and I'm gonna drop this down right there see how it's coming up really nice and then I will make a copy and um, make the stretcher actually I can leave that as a shelf so I'll make another copy make it three inches deep see that then I'm going to align with the tops. See how nice it is. Make another copy. And I want to align this with the fronts. So my stretches. And then nailer. I can uh, make another copy of that. And then rotate to 45. Sorry, that's Y axis. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go X axis rotate once twice it's now align there make sure it's all the way back and then it's up to it'll bump and stop so far so good okay now let's go ahead <coughs> and uh, name it so this is the left panel This is shelf. This is the right panel. Right, sorry. Right panel. This is the back. This is the toe kick. One more. This is the toe kick bottom. The bottom. And these two, holding my control, shift to select so I can name both. These are stretches. You can see what's going on to the right on the structure. Uh, let's see what we have a name. What is this? That's the bottom. What's left here? It's a nailer. We're done with naming. Uh, the reason why we do that is so that when we generate a cut list, you will see all those parts. Uh, here's where you're going to decide whether you want frameless or you do want frame. Uh, you don't want them. I mean, when you want frameless or you want frame. I'm gonna go with frameless, so I'll just make the doors. But before I do that, I want to select all, Control A, and group them. And I'm gonna call the whole thing B24 because it's a base cabinet 24 inches. I don't know how you name your cabinets. This is kind of pretty standard. Okay. And make sure it's actually 24 wide. Now I can resize it. There you go. If you go to the 
north wall was measured. Measure that. Come top, let me select. Select and stretch it. It's three and a half, three thirty-four and a half high. That is because we have not put the token. I'm I'm sorry, the countertop. Uh, the width. There you go. Turn red. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And it's exactly twenty-four. So that's good. Now let's make the countertop. Is going to be standard is 24 deep, 25. Sorry, uh, height that's going to be 1.5, and this was 24. You don't want to lock that because you might want to resize this cabinet and rename it. Okay, and kind of just bring it on top. That's my countertop. You want to name it. Now let's make the doors. You want to leave half an inch both sides. So new elements. Uh, so 23 divided by 2. You can use your calculator real quick. 11.5. So so that's going to be 11.5. I don't know how thick your doors are. That's up to you. I will leave the height like it is for now maybe just put it 20 and you will see why then I'll make a copy because I want two doors group them and call them doors okay and you look at the structure I want to make sure the door is also part of no I'm not gonna combine them yet let's align it so now the doors are gonna be four inches from the bottom so I go to position make sure it's four inches it will move up a little bit you see that and then I'm gonna align it so that it's in the middle and then align the backs I'm sorry just move it to the back it will stop when you bounce in the cabinet it did and it's really aligned nicely now I need to pull the door up Just to cover that. I don't know how you make your doors, that's up to you. And here we go. Now I can make sure the door is part of the cabinet. The countertop is part of the cabinet. So, so now we can move the whole thing because it's now one object. Uh, we, we want to generate a cut list. So how you generate cut list, you go to general, copy the name, doesn't matter what name, go to advanced, square brackets, and put it right like that. Basically, you're telling Pro 100 that you want to generate a cut list. Okay, then I go to getting other, go to reports, cut list, and this is my cut list of what I just made with all the parts. Uh, once you're done, of course, now you can add this to your catalog. Uh, let's add it somewhere here on cabinets. I'm going to create a folder and call it uh, Emmanuel. And oh, there's another one already there, so let's call it uh, Simple, Simple Cabinets. Okay. Let's save it there, and it's a B. 24 save so now I can delete this and if I start a new project no changes no I can now go to my catalog and sample cabinets folder and here's the cabinet that I just made all right so now you can of course now try to make it look nice and pretty so you want to remove the contours and transparency bring in some textures and of course you can get textures from your manufacturer or online whichever I'm going to go to one that I normally use a lot for demos I want the whole thing to be maple wood everything for now 
then bring in uh, Ray Spinal Dome, maybe. And then let's color that countertop to make it look real. Just pressing C to go to countertop. Countertops, there you go. I like granite and marble. And uh, of course, anything. So I can save it again. I can make copy of this cabinet, or maybe I want to make. I don't if if I want to make a thirty inch wide cabinet. I don't have to go through this again. All I have to do is resize this. Okay, change that to thirty. B thirty, and then go to general. Change that also to B thirty. And then go to dimensions and make sure it's actually third. Okay, it's resized. So now I have a 24 and a 30. I can uh, show the dimensions in plan view, north wall, west wall. Let's try the plan view, zoom in really nice. And let's see that. I can pull that out. Let's see how deep it is. It's 25. Same thing with that. If I go to west, uh, north wall, I can also determine the height. Just click on that. It will turn red when you come close to it. Pull that out or whatever you want to put it. It's up to you. 36 inch high. Same as here. And uh, maybe you want just a sketch to send it out. You can play around with those like that. It's up to you. If you want to look nice and pretty, you can leave it on like that. Uh, another cool feature about Pro 100 is let's say I want to change the material in all these cabinets. Let's make a copy of these. I want to change them all at once. I don't have to go through one by one. So let's go to the textures let's start with the top uh, with the countertops maybe I'm gonna pick this one hold my shift drop it there they all changed uh, if I go to some of my nice door styles that I like uh, the ones I got online maybe grab uh, this one here just take the wood shift on the body so you change and then the doors be changed. If I had drawers, the same thing would happen all at once. If you have any questions, give me a call. Pro100USA.com.